फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इन हिज प्रेजेंस द डेड बॉडी ऑफ ए मीडियम बिल्ट फीमेल एज अबाउट थर्टी टू थर्टी टू ईयर्स हाफ बर्ंट ओवर हर अपर पार्ट इंक्लूडिंग हर फेस वॉज डग आउट एंड रोहिणी कुमार चौधरी कंडक्टेड द इंक्वेस्ट ओवर द डेड बॉडी इन प्रजेंस ऑफ दीज परसन्स एंड सबमिटेड हिज रिपोर्ट वाइड एग्जिबिट फॉर इंक्वेस्ट रिपोर्ट ही ऑल्सो डेप्यूटेड वन एग्जीक्यूटिव मैजिस्ट्रेट to keep the dead body for 72 hours till it was identified and ordered him either to bury or burn the dead body thereafter pw18 conducted the post mortem on the dead body of and found 64% second degree burn injuries in a decomposed state according to his opinion exhibit 11 post mortem report the victim died due to asphyxia and the burn injuries were anti mortem in nature they jointly lost a first information report before the golpara police station on that day itself narrating the entire facts of discovery of the dead body which was registered as Golpara Police Station Case Number 174 of 2009, under Sections 302 and 201 of the Indian Penal Code. On 28th June 2009, Sub Inspector P W 21 of Baralamuk Police Station arrested the sole accused and brought him to Golpara. According to him. Sheetal Das confessed of committing murder of Prativa and concealing her body at some place of Golpara when he was taken to Golpara Sheetal Das did show the place where he concealed the dead body of Prativa it was the place where the dead body was found on 1st June 2009 by the locals He also led the police to the place where he threw the vanity bag of Prativa and the same was seized by Binay Kalita wide exhibit 7 in presence of her brother PW7 and PW8 a tenant of Chitranjan both of them accompanied Binay Kalita to Golpara at the request of Binay Kalita when the dead body was recovered and the accused was arrested so that they could identify the dead body and affirm as to whether the dead body was that of pratiwas chandan identified the articles seized by the police to be that of pratiwas and from the photographs taken of the dead body before being disposed of in absence of persons claiming the same he also identified the dead body to that of his sisters that is pratiwas in the vanity bag found under a culvert one salwar one dupatta and one golden ladies watch belonging to pratiwa were found two mobile sets were also seized from sheetal das white exhibit 8 in presence of pw9 on the basis of investigation and disclosure statement exhibit 15 sheetal was arrested and his handwritings were taken for expert opinion those were examined by pw17 deputy director questioned documents division forensic science laboratory assam in his opinion exhibit 9 he has categorically stated that the person who wrote the sample writings also wrote the questioned writings and this opinion was derived by comparing the styles slants 
movements alignments skill and spacing of the letters it may be worth mentioned herein that at the first sample of handwritings sent for opinion no sufficient capital letters were found and hence as requested by him deputy superintendent pandu division guwahati city wide letter dated 15th july 2009 exhibit 10 forwarded fresh sample writings containing capital letters and the opinion was derived on examination and comparing those freshly received writings with the question writings found in the letter purportedly written and sent by amit sekia of jorhat on completion of investigation pw21 submitted charge sheet against shital das under section 302 of the indian penal code white exhibit 16 and sent for trial however the trial court framed charges under sections 364 302 201 of the indian penal code shital das observed his guilt during the trial and in in his statement under section 313 of the code of criminal procedure his plea was of complete innocence he only admitted of seizure of two mobile sets by police wide exhibit 8 and rest were all denied after conclusion of the trial the trial court acquitted him of the charges the same being not proved beyond reasonable doubt and being aggrieved this appeal has been preferred by prativas father upon carefully examining the materials available on the records and upon hearing the parties we are of the considered view that the appeal deserves to be dismissed for want of sufficient evidence against accused shital das admittedly this is a case where there is no direct evidence against shital das the prosecution has tried to establish its story only on the basis of circumstantial evidence against him the circumstances by which the prosecution tried to link shital das were having a love affair with prativa and her refusal to marry him when he proposed letter written by shital to prativa's father in the name of amit sekia after her missing matching of his handwritings with those of samples taken in the hand of shital messages sent from the mobile of prativa to her family disclosure statement of shital and extra judicial confession made by him before police stop